here, looking something like that, and having the x-axis act as a horizontal asymptote to the left. Any questions on these points or where I got them from? Where did I come from? Uh, I got them from this table where oh, I, okay, right, right, right. y equals e to the x. So, we good now? Yeah. Okay. Now, the, all exponential graphs will look something like this as long as e is a number bigger than 1. Okay? 2 to the x looks a lot like this, except this is 1 half and this is 1 comma 2. 5 to the x looks a lot like this. This will be 1 fifth. This will be 1 comma 5. Any graph of any positive number larger than 1 will look something like this. Um, transformations. Let's go over here for that one. Remember, um, remember when we did this on the first test? Way back when in like September? K's and H's? K's and H's and A's and B's and all that kind of stuff. If you had X to the fifth, if you had E to the fifth, what would it be? If I had y equals e to the fifth, that would be a horizontal line because e to the fifth is just a number. It's 2.718 raised to the fifth power. So that would be y equals 34 or so. And I'll put negative 5 into the other. 5 would be e. Wait, e to the negative fifth? You mean what if, uh, yeah. e to the negative fifth would be 1 over e to the positive fifth? Um, oh, you're asking the negative exponent. Okay, yeah, yeah, oh yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. And that would just be a really small fraction. That would be a really tiny fraction. And if you had y equals this, you have a horizontal line very close to the x-axis. Okay. Because any number just uh, graphs like that. Okay, transformations of these things. I'll use the same letters I used before. Y equals A times E to the B X minus K plus H. Okay? Anybody remember what these four letters do? B um, was the most annoying one. Okay. Connor, what do you remember? Uh, H is um, up and down. Intuitive or counterintuitive? What do you mean? Does it, like, if it's plus H, does it go yeah, up? it goes the way it's supposed to. If it's plus, it goes, it goes plus. I describe up. that as intuitive, up or down. And Drew, then, you were about to say something about K. K is... Counterintuitive. Yeah, with a K. And I always spell that with a K. Because it's oh. opposite. Yes. Counterintuitive. What Connor would say the way it's not supposed to. Uh, and it's right or left. And also, A is like the slope thing. A was a thing that's kind of like slope. I started that way. But then I made it fancier. Yeah, then I changed that to... Yeah. Multiplier on... Y values is what I changed it to. So it's the multiplier on the X? Pardon? It's the multiplier on the X? No. I hold that thought, but can I explain? Oh, okay. So basically, A, as usual, does flips it. Um, flips it if it's negative. Oh, wait, no. Uh, B, does it makes it flip over the X axis? And, like, Y makes it flip over the Y? Uh, exactly wrong, and if it's positive or negative, but there's more to it than that. Okay, A is a multiplier on the Y values. Which means if A is 2, everything gets twice as far away from the y-axis. That does work kind of like slope on polynomials and other ones, but on this one that gets a little crazy. Um, if A is negative, Connor's got a good point, it flips the whole thing around the x-axis. Okay? It does make it a reflection. Actually, what it does now, if A is negative, it flips the function... about its asymptote. Kind of close. You're very close. Good job, Connor. Now, if it's, and Connor, if it hasn't been moved up or down, that means it will still flip around the x-axis. But if there's a plus h, that will move the asymptote up or down, too. So I should put that in here. Intuitive up or down, including asymptotes. Okay, so the asymptote, the horizontal asymptote actually moves as well. B, Johnny was all, always, almost right, almost always right. B is actually a divisor on the x values. So if you're like dividing, like, it will actually be multiplied? What will happen? Yeah, um, I think yeah. I know what you're
which means... If you take x over 2, it will actually be multiplying it? Yes, it will actually get twice as wide. So if I have e, e to the 2x, everything gets twice as close to the y-axis. If you have an actual large positive number here, it makes the graph skinnier. Oh, I remember this. If you have a decimal or fraction here, it moves it away. And if b is less than 0, it flips about y-axis. Okay. Remember that uh, first test where we had that random graph I created? No, I really don't. It had the semicircle. Yeah. And it had the lines. That horrible. Oh, right. That horrible thing, right? And when B was like two, everything got twice as compressed. It all shrunk up against. That was the yeah, just like slow. Yeah. Really fine. Yes. I enjoyed it. Though. Yeah, I think so. Like when you start doing like a monograph, it makes complete sense. I hope so. Um, do you guys need an example of this, or you think you can handle it with this information? Um, you can find out. You can double, okay, double, um, use your calculators mainly to double check. Try it by hand first. As in, hint, hint, you will have to do one by hand on the next test. But then my brain will hurt so much. Can we do like three on the next test? <laughs> Pardon? Can we do like three on the next test? Maybe like, like five. Maybe like the whole thing. <laughs> All right, we'll see. The whole thing. Okay, question. I tried that for pre-cal, and that just worked too well. Question. If you are going to give them to us, like, to press you by hand, uh -huh. then... Um, are you really painting during math? Yes. yes. Anyway, go ahead. This is really bothering me. Um, can you give us, like, not really large numbers? Yes. Okay. Yes, I have to make them sensible numbers. Yeah, it's really bothering me. Okay, um... All right, the homework is falls into two categories. Um, graphing E, graphing some other things, and solving some interest rate word problems. That sounds fun, I guess. I think it sounds like a blast. Use your calculator to double check, but don't rely on your calculator. It may have resolution issues, which can give you inaccuracy. Uh, uh, page 385. Johnny, have you checked the numbers yet? 36 to 56. 36 to 56 even. Page 385, 36 to 56.